Welcome back. Thank you, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, for your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of the 6th, May 6th, literally at midnight, we will have Resident Evil. Speaking of Resident Evil, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, Early segue. I don't know. There's some. There's a bunch of impressions out. There's a bunch of reviews out right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you can go mm-hmm. look at them. You can go read them. We won't have anything here just yet, of course. Like we uh, reiterate last week, or yeah, last week with Returnal, no mm-hmm. early codes for us. So we consume it just like you do. So we're gonna go mm-hmm. play it probably tomorrow. I will. Alex says he might play it tonight. Me. And we'll have an early impressions just like with Returnal, as yep. fast as possible. Yep. Hopefully tomorrow. Might be the day after, though. Mm-hmm. Speaking of TV shows, Alex, mm. how are you? I'm good. I've got a little headache. This is you know. this is episode eighty of the Easy Achievers Game oh, Podcast. Oh, we're getting closer to a hundred. Yeah, you now you said you have a headache. Yeah, are you dying? No, I got my second COVID shot. Mm. So, so like I like I don't know if this headache is part of it or just from you know just having life. a kid around the house yelling. <laughs> Um, maybe a, a little calm may a little calm be yeah yeah so i don't know hopefully i don't feel anything from the vaccine but um I, I told my wife i was like i'm just gonna sleep so i don't have to worry about it mm, just sleep through it i respect mm-hmm. that that's some people's yeah. method of, of getting uh that's usually what i do i just mm-hmm. i just sleep i take drugs and then i sleep <laughs> And then I hallucinate because oh, I take the drugs God. that you're not supposed to take together. And I always forget which ones they are. So I always you take got, two. You got some, you got some left. <laughs> Dude, it's literally, I think, I think it's Dayquil and Tylenol, I think, or something oh, like that. I don't know what Dayquil. it is. I'll go straight Nyquil. I, I don't <laughs> I know. If, I, I, don't if I know I'm not going nowhere, I'll go straight Nyquil. I, Get that bottle right there. I don't know what it is, but I always hallucinate when I take, because I'm dying. So I'm like, give me medicine. I take them and then I, I, I. I am not joking. I hallucinate. Like I'll the lay other... there. I'll lay there like that. And I'll just I'll have the craziest living dreams. Do, do you think you should not take that one? Again, though, Question I mark? keep forgetting which ones they are. So I get I'm sick. to start reminding you every time you're few. sick. I'm going to be like, don't I'm going to be like your grandma. Don't take this. Mm-hmm. Take this. I keep forgetting. Like I said, I think it's a I think I take a Dayquil and a Tylenol. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't usually take Tylenol. So it might be an Advil. I don't know. I do something that you are so, doc- that have doctorates or listening to right now, and they're oh, like, Jesus. "Oh no!" Yeah, no, yeah. Everyone who has any idea what medicine is, they're like, "Stop!" <laughs> like, why are you <laughs> taking more than one of either of them? Mm-hmm. No, but I shovel it down my gullet when I'm sick because I'm a baby. Like, when I'm mm-hmm. sick. I, it, mm-hmm. I feel so Same. bad. Oh, I don't like being sick. Speaking <laughs> of being sick of this intro. Yeah, let's yeah, segue yeah, yeah. to a new intro. This is the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. You can come to us every single Friday, and you can listen to us podcast service or YouTube of your choice. And you should subscribe. Now, there's a couple ways that you could support us. One, got keeping up. One, the freeway. This is what Alex does and me because I don't pay for this shit. You go over <laughs> to youtube.com slash achievers. Not really just search the achievers, but I'm going to keep saying it until they eventually give us the IRL. You go over there, you give us a subscription, you give us a comment, all those good stuff. You know what to do. Second, if you got some extra money during a pandemic, wink, wink, we know you don't. But if you do patreon.com slash achievers. You give us a buck that gives you not only every tier listed on the dollar tier, that gives you the ability to message us, gives you the ability to be on the show, and you can tell us your question, comment, concern, thought, and or ideas. And you might be listening on the show. Alex? Yes. Not a lot of news this week. Not, not a lot of news at all. at all. Also, we haven't really been playing anything new. Uh, I want to first, though, ask one question. I ask it every week. Sometimes slightly mm-hmm. different. It's going to be a different question mm-hmm. this week. Mm-hmm. Alex, mm-hmm. what mm. do you think of Returnal? Hmm. I'm iffy because I suck at this game. Mm. So I'm going to break it down for you. Now, really quick, you and everyone on the internet, 
Everyone on mm-hmm. the internet says this game's hard, so you're not alone, Alex. Yeah, and it's crazy because I, I guess I'm, uh, I guess we're just used to Dark Souls, but to me, Dark Souls is easy. To me, Dark Souls is easier than this game, but I mean, I'm not used. I, this is a new game, but um, literally, I've put 13 hours into this game, and yeah. I've yet to beat the second boss. I don't know how many hours I've put into it. I've put in. You're I mean, almost at, done at max. I've put in 13 hours. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, and you were at the at the final boss, correct? I hit the final boss in like my fourth run. Yeah. So, oh, I've died so many times. So, dude. so yeah, and I haven't played it that much. I I have probably in total, I'm gonna try and ballpark it here, mm-hmm. seven or eight full runs of Oof. the game. That sounds right. And I mean, I've I've done at least twenty. Yeah. So. W- I feel like you're getting two spectrums here, which I kind of like achievers. You're mm-hmm. getting two different spectrums. You're getting, you're getting someone that has gotten almost beaten the game, which I don't, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not where you beat the game, but I'm pretty sure it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I haven't went past it, so I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to try and see if I can beat it maybe over the weekend. I, I want I want to see the end of this game. I want to see mm-hmm. the ending because the story intrigues me, but yeah. This game's crazy. I mean, now, I'm not saying you're incorrect with it being hard. It is. Yeah. I just, I may, I don't know. Maybe I have a chakra in me mm-hmm. that I just unlink, similar to Rock Lee in the hit, uh, the hit anime Naruto. I just unleash like my chakras and and mm. just go at it. Mm. What do you think is so difficult about it? If you had to say like one thing, what is it? Hmm. Th- uh. The health bar. Mm. I feel like I feel like every time you get hit, it's like literally half your health mm. gone. Mm. So like I feel like if I had either more health or the damage wasn't as much, I feel like I'd survive more, okay. and then I'd be okay. okay. Because literally, I get uh, like the game's fun. Mm-hmm. The game's great. I I, li- I really like the game, but it's very frustrating to where I'm like, okay, I'm doing a great run, and then I know where die like in like three hits. And I'm like, lucky I have a, a, for people who haven't played the game, you and can buy certain items. And really quick, there's time codes. If you don't want to listen to Returnal Talk, time comes below. Yeah. They know. But mm-hmm. uh, continue, please. But um, you, there's a little things that, you know, you can have like a second chance life type of thing. Yeah. And I use that. But then I do, I just get destroyed again. Yeah. And it's just, I feel like I, my health goes down so fast and it won't. And it's like these, these enemies get so aggressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm trying to run away and they just chase me. And I'm like, so once I'm, I will say restarted, the AI I'm like, is pretty, oh. pretty intelligent, I would say. Um, yeah. And intelligent in a way that they, I, I guess their aggression is, is it's almost like they're programmed to chase you when you are low health or something. Mm-hmm. They, they do seem uh, very aggressive when the closer your health gets um, to zero. But yeah, I mean, th- this game is, I mean, it's been a while since I feel like I've played a hard video game. Um, there's no difficulties in this. We've, uh, we said that in the impression video. Uh, so, I mean, what you, what you're playing is what you get. There ain't no way to make it easier. So it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah overpower the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I, so, uh, I mean, enjoying I like the game. It. I'm enjoying yeah. it. Alex, uh, are you having fun? fun is it something you're going to keep doing so when 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 i'm like getting past the areas that i i'm like okay i got past this part and now i could be then in the next biome i'm like i was having have i was like once i'm more upgraded and have more stuff i'm having fun okay but when i die and start over and all i got is a pistol it i and i have to go back through everything i'm just like Mm. it, it gets a little bit tedious and i feel like i'm I'm like working. I like, mm-hmm. I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm sitting down and like enjoying the game. I feel like I'm, I'm doing work yeah, to get there. I almost want to see a guide um, to see if I'm doing it right. Cause my, cause my, mm-hmm. my, I haven't really gone back to the game since I, since that initial boss fight, like I got almost mm-hmm. the end of the game. I haven't really gone back to it then. I'm curious on what I'm supposed to do now. Cause just so everyone knows you get, you keep your upgrades. I have certain upgrades. So, I'm mm-hmm. curious if I am I supposed to play the whole first area and try to get bonuses. The first area doesn't really have that much good stuff, so maybe I just go straight to the second area and maybe go that way. I don't know. I'm curious first off uh, if there even is a guide for this game. Because like, how would you make a guide? I, I guess you would mm. say like, do I, I don't even know. Like, 
like it's all procedurally generated what that means no. is if you don't know what that means is everything is random when you die so when you die that map is completely different so. now they do have the rooms do circulate i've noticed because if the because i've died like 20 times mm -hmm. i've seen maybe like this one this one room that i didn't know i remember specifically i've seen this room maybe three or four times yeah well, so they I, have I, templates, and yeah, yeah. It's just, that's how they do it. They have the same design; <laughs> it's just slightly changed to try and yeah, it's slightly. New. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I do recommend the game. I do recommend the game because you never know what you'll like, mm -hmm. and some people really enjoy this, and some people don't. But you don't know until you try it. Mm -hmm. I would say try it because I like it, but I don't know if i love it because mm -hmm. i'm getting frustrated and of course that's every game but like i don't want a game to make it feel like it's work so like i had i had fun for what i played and i yeah. think i'm done i'm not mm -hmm. sure though okay so I, i'm not sure it's a huge recommend for me it's it, if you enjoy third person action fast-paced mm -hmm. games this is a must buy yeah that being said I mean, get ready, get ready to get your ass kicked. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I, again, I haven't felt as challenged, I would say, as a lot of my peers on Twitter and things like that. Um, but, I mean, if you're going by those, like those people, like this is a very hard game. And I think it is difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not easy. And you also, it's also kind of have to be lucky, to be honest. Yeah, like, no, for you, sure. There is a bit of luck because there was one run I did. I mean, I mean, I didn't get a weapon. I didn't get any upgrades. The parasites I, I found were terrible. The artifact yeah. I found was fine. But like, I got to a room. I opened the room, and it is filled with the winged enemies. And with mm -hmm. a starter pistol, you're dead. And mm -hmm. I died. So it, it is a bit of luck. I, I mean, it, you have to get a little lucky in your runs, unless you are, you know, you're just popping it. And you're, mm -hmm. you know, th th this game is skill meets luck. I feel like definitely. If you're not lucky, then your skill has to be higher. If you're l really lucky, I mean, you can kind of breeze through it. So now it's kind of that back and forth. If this game wouldn't change the maps, if it, every time you die or whatever, it mm -hmm. doesn't change the map. If everything was the same, like like enemy difficulty, like everything's the same. It's just that the map won't change. Do you think the game is harder or easier? Or the same? Because eventually you just remember everything. everything. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that, that's the argument with Dark Souls, too. Yeah. You that's can how say how hard Dark it is. Souls. Eventually, you're going to memorize everything. Oh, yeah. Even that's if why you I think literally Dark Souls die because I remember every encounter. At. If you die at literally every single encounter, mm -hmm. you will eventually figure out how to kill you. Because, I mean, you're just, you're, it's the same thing over and over again. Yeah. You just remember the patterns. Enough for Eternal. Yep. Let's get into some news. Alex. Hmm. There is some news today. Now, I'm going to do a quick rapid fires for you. Now, uh -oh. Alex added this to the dockets pretty early, and I glanced at it. Very interested. And I want to bring this to everyone's attention, just so you know what's going on with uh, uh, the new Mass Effect game that's coming soon. Mm. So it's a Mass Effect remaster of the first three games. Um, so this is over on IGN, and really it's EA just confirmed something, so... Uh, I want to find out what this is. Okay, so if you're playing the Mass Effect Edition on PlayStation 5, you are getting uh, um, 60 frames per second at 4K in the quality favor mode, and then a 60 frames at 1440p in uh, frame rate mode. So interesting, there's no change there, apparently. Uh, I don't know. But uh, 60 frames on 4K in favor quality, and you'll get 120 frames at 1440p in favor frame rate. So on a Series X, you're going to get 120 frames. Versus PS5, you won't be. That's very that's very interesting. It's, it's, it's up to, isn't it? It says up to. Um, you can assume yep. it's it's nearly locked because these games are... There's mm -hmm. not a lot happening with these games. So it, I would be interesting if it dips often. It probably dips sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. In the more graphically demanding parts, but I imagine it's not dipping that often. These are these aren't insane games, especially one and two. Uh, and then play, uh, mm -hmm. PS4 Pro, um, 30 frames, 4K in quality, 60 on favorite frame rate. Um, the Series X and One X are all the same: uh, 30 frames at 4K and 60 frames at 1440. 
base PlayStations are just, you'll get 60 frames at 1080p Mm -hmm. and then 30 if you are doing resolution. Alex, interesting that we're not getting 120s on PS5s. Um, I do say we, me and Alex do play on Xboxes generally. So Mm -hmm. um, I don't really, I guess I don't really mean we, but I mean people who play on PlayStation that are planning on playing this game. I wonder if that's uh, disappointing. I mean, that kind of makes the frame rate mode not like does, does, there's no point matter right like why would you pick no, it there's, right? yeah there's no point because it's the same fps each one so they and, might as well favor quality and write in if or write in i say comment below or hit us up on patreon if we're missing something but why would you not want to just be on resolution if the frame rate doesn't change right so mm-hmm. that's interesting um I wonder why they couldn't do it because I imagine the PlayStation can run the game. I mean, I doubt that's the issue. I wonder if they're having an issue with. I think they're having issues with 120 FPS type things because mm-hmm. this is not the only. This is not the only game. That's true. That, this is um, not the only time. You're correct. Oh God! What which game was it? Was it? It's Call. It was in. A, it's Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, on Warzone, it's right. 120 on Xbox, and then on the, on PS5 is only 60. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, something maybe they can't get it to unlock. There or has to be something. Or... I mean, they're not doing it. There's no deal with Xbox to have mm-hmm. them at 120. And, I maybe, mean, and there could be, but I doubt that. There's probably zero chance that happens. Maybe they have the to where like you know the um they could probably get past 60, but they're let's say they're getting like 80 or 90, and they're like it's not good enough at 120, so we're just not going to say that. True. I mean, maybe, and they don't want the you know the image, you know. Yeah, devs might see some sort of tear issue, or they might mm-hmm. put it to 120 and notice that all these bugs start hitching in. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, we're not in, we're, we're screen tearing. Yeah, and we're not fi- we're, and we're and they're like we're not going to spend time fixing this, so we're just not going to put mm-hmm. it in the game. I mean, yeah. hey, who knows? It, it, it literally could be anything. Speaking mm-hmm. of PlayStation Five. They're changing the PlayStation 5 model with a big asterisk on that, though. There's a new <laughs> PlayStation 5 model, big asterisk on that, okay? Really so there design. is technically, technically, a new PlayStation 5 model. The only thing that's going to be different about it is that they're trying to find different chipsets. So if you have been on the up and up with your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast every week, you would know that semiconductors that are inside the Series X's and the PS5's are incredibly hard to find. The reason that is, is PlayStation uses them. Xbox uses them. Almost every single major phone uses them with these microchip sets. <clears throat> Apple themselves uses these chipsets. So if, <clears throat> and if you know the time frame in, in America now iPhones are about to start coming out soon. Yeah. So those, so the chipsets are going to get even harder to find if they're not already impossible to find out. Because I think they hit manufacture in August. I think that's usually how they do iPhones. It might be July, but if they're using July and then they come out with in like over September. Yeah. If they're using similar chipsets and they're hard to find now, imagine when a, I think, Apple is like a $200 billion company or some nonsense like that. Imagine them walking in with their wallets and going, oh, we need chipsets and we don't care how it happens. <laughs> like, and then we'll just throw money mm-hmm. until they get. So it, it, it's about to get even harder probably to make these things, mm-hmm. which is sad to say. I hate for everyone who you know wants a PlayStation right now or wants a Series X and can't get one. Um, hopefully the people who really want one have gotten them already. Um, and if not, just stay diligent. Wario64 on Twitter is the easiest way to get one. Uh, but that was essentially all I think that was worth saying. Uh, literally, the difference is they're trying to change the chipset. And it's going to go, uh, they're going to switch the model probably next year sometime. I mean, maybe that chipset is what's ca- what's causing the 120 debacle. I have no idea how systems work. So maybe, maybe mm-hmm. not. I have no idea. Alex put a fun one in here um resident evil village can run without a gpu on pc uh (laughs) i don't completely understand what this even means um just sounds like a bunch of nonsense to me essentially the game can run without a graphics card meaning it can use your graphics in your your, internal graphics yeah your internal graphics in your what would that be in your processor right yeah it's just yeah inside yeah in the cpu 
Oh yeah, there's, yeah, a, CPU, in, yeah. there's an internal yeah the piece the CPU has internal graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, so like for example, like if you see these computers that have it, say, it'll it'll say internal graphics uh, UHD or 360 or whatever. I forget the numbers. Now I uh, but you can use those now. Again, comment below or hit us up on Patreon. I'm assuming the game is can run. So it, is it, it playable? Seven, yes. It, I, 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 if you read the article, it does say um, you can run it at 720. And I think the FPS, the highest they can, it can go is around like 40 to 50. And if you put the game at 1080, it, the FPS is 20 to 30. If you use internal graphics. So it's not playable, but playable, you know. It's but it's not blobs. You can see the game, but it's gonna run really bad, maybe. So only I so imagine seven twenty. So it's gonna look very oof. But you can run at forty to fifty FPS. But it's crazy for some people who don't have you know have a graphics card. Yeah. Okay. Oh geez, sorry, sorry, Cheevers. My God. Oh, okay. All right. Well, autoplay ads suck. I don't understand that. Uh, uh, Alex seems to understand it more than I do. Uh, I guess it technically runs, sort of. It's it's weird because it's, it they made the game to where you don't need crazy hardware to be able to play the game. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, you know, people that have pre built computers or like you know those standard ones that don't have like an actual nvidia card or amd right and like cards um they're gonna be like well, you can try your internal cpu one and see it and it should work at 720 mm. like it's not gonna look great but you'll still be able to it'll still be playable okay now this the seeming rumors last week that Discord was looking for a buyout by Microsoft seemingly were true. We only say that because now we know PlayStation is officially partnering with Discord, uh, mm -hmm. and it looks like Sony purchased a minority stake in Discord, and you will be able to. And they announced essentially that you will be able to connect your PlayStation Network and Discord account sometime next year. Uh, not much was said about this partnership. You can assume that there will be some sort of integration into the PlayStation Network with Discord. How that mm -hmm. will work? No, I have no idea. I assume there will be some sort of app, maybe? And then you can use Discord on PlayStation? I don't know. Um, uh, mm -hmm. This is, I mean, this is an incredible move at Discord. Not only did they get partnered with PlayStation, they get to keep being, um, uh, their own uh, bosses and they get to be independent. Um, and if the rumor is true, they said no to $10 billion. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. They, they said no to $10 billion. I, I don't, I, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta have like cojones to say, no, I don't want ten billion dollars for my company. Like that, can is, that up later. And again, All right, what? and again, Hey, I'm not the guy making those decisions, so hey, that they're probably making the right one. But that is an incredible decision. Play, PlayStation not only gets Discord, which is a huge gift for them, and especially mm -hmm. now that gets people probably a little more excited than they have been because you know the last couple of weeks we've been dogging on PlayStation quite a bit. This is a good win for them. I mean, they get Discord. Uh, I mean, I feel like everyone complains about the party chat system, so I mean, this is just icing oh, on the cake. God. Eventually, we're going to have some sort of Discord in PlayStation. It's going to make it way mm -hmm. better. That is very exciting. I'm hoping this works out and it's not completely botched because it sounds like it could be. But yeah. Why does it take 10 selections for me to leave a voice chat? <laughs> I, I, again, I'm so curious. Like, is it going to just be an app? Are they going to straight up, like, when you go to your party chat, is it going to be saying, like, powered by Discord? like on it or something like maybe it's gonna be it's so cool i i really do hope they because the the reason i love discord so much is that how low the latency is between talking to somebody mm -hmm. and, and getting it out um i don't know if everyone at uh, uh the achievers know this when you're playing on xbox playstation there is latency when you're talking to somebody it's you oh, know, yeah. very small but it's noticeable when you're playing something like Apex or Call of Duty. That's why we sometimes definitely figured that out yesterday. Yeah, there's that's why sometimes you say something and then the guy goes what, and then you see them react to it, but it's not mm -hmm. as quick as you think. And so there's there's the with Discord, it's basically instantaneous, which which is awesome. And hopefully, PlayStation does that. And then if PlayStation does that, you know Xbox will have to do something 
to try and counter that. And hopefully that improves their party system too. Cause I was really hoping when Xbox one came out and they announced like how good the party system was that, mm-hmm. uh, and they had that first big update that, that the, um, uh, latency would be cut like to n- almost nothing. And clearly that, yeah. that didn't work. It's better. Yeah. But they it's haven't nowhere near done anything good. with that. No, no. And, and it's been a while actually, on the Xbox side that we've had like a big update really. Right. I mean, we've yeah. had some UI changes, but like we haven't seen an achievement update in a very long time. And I'm saying, yeah. I mean, the last time we had an achievement update, Alex was. It was, I um, mean, original Xbox one to Xbox one X because they had, they started adding the rare, uh, the rare achievements. That And to- when did they add the leaderboards in the achievements? You remember that? Was that the third update mm. to no? They because remember they had rare achievements, and then I think mm-hmm. after rare achievements they had the leaderboard update with achievements, where th- they essentially they, they essentially is like there's achievements and then there's stats on top of the achievements. I feel like that's been there for a little while. I feel like that's been there since the slim. You probably since the right. Xbox One Slim. Yeah, you probably. I remember before I got the X. I remember we used to compare all the time. It'll be like, oh, you're like a hundred points ahead of this person. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean the stats. Like I know there's the achievement leaderboard that says mm-hmm. like gamer score. Yeah, you know the stats page too. Oh, that gotcha, I feel gotcha. Like yeah, that's I think the that was added around the One X or somewhere around there. I feel like that's the last time we've had like a an update yeah. to achievements. Like I can't think of a time that my achievements have gotten any better yeah yeah they haven't really done anything i mean maybe because they don't feel like they need to do anything with it i mean i mean they don't com- i guess i mean look at it compared to trophies i mean trophies are cool but like what's up with the left to right side shit oh my god every everyone on like the trophy hunter people that i follow hate that apparently like i, I love do I trophies like for their different types like you know they got bronze silver gold pla- platinum i love that i've always loved platinum. that i've always loved yeah. they, we got to yeah. figure something out that's better than a thousand because because yeah. saying you a thousand something is not as satisfying as saying i platinum the game yeah for sure even though it's the exact same thing it is no, not as yeah, satisfying yeah, same when you thing. say you platinum something so and they talked about this years ago. I wish, I hope they come with that badge system thing that they said they would do, that you could pin mm-hmm. badges to your profile and like people who p- only play one game have like a special badge or something. Like, I want that, but mm-hmm. yeah. our friend would have the Apex badge. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, the way they uh, described it was, um, well, they're, the way the achievement system works is it only highlights if you play multiple games. But they gave mm-hmm. a reference of, well, there's a lot of people who play a, uh, only a few games, mainly like online games. So why don't we have something that specifically shows that person off? Why don't we do something like a badge? And when you play a thousand mm-hmm. hours of Halo or something, you get a badge that only you get if you do that specific thing. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That was, it, was just only, it was a hypothetical, but a boy could dream. Yep. Some weird stuff has been coming out over the last few weeks uh, with this Sony. Uh, it's not. I'm sorry, not Sony. Um, this Apple and uh, Epic Games fiasco. One specific mm-hmm. thing that I thought was very interesting is the uh, Tim Tim Sweeney confirmed that Sony is the only platform holder that requires Epic to pay compensation for crossplay. Um, Epic agreed to, uh, to the fees so they can have crossplay enabled in Fortnite. Now, the way they describe this uh financial system that they have with sony and epic says that quote if somebody were primarily playing on playstation but paying on iphone then this might trigger compensation end quote right very big they i didn't see any specifics into these things but quite interesting that we we got like a small glimpse into the behind the scenes thing right right like they had to agree to pay them if they pay more on PlayStation, but buy stuff somewhere else, which I guess makes sense. But they, they said that's the only platformer. So Nintendo, not Xbox, no one. That is the only one is PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I guess it makes sense because they were they always they never wanted to do it in the first place. If you remember that famous E3 2019, that sounds right. I think it was 2019, might have been 2018, where they announced crossplay for Fortnite. Oh, the, and, the 2019. Yeah. And they said PlayStation wouldn't do it, though. Mm-hmm. And everyone jumped on PlayStation and started 
beating them to death <laughs> saying mm-hmm. why aren't you doing this you hate us ah. and they eventually were like fine you can do it and they let them do it mm-hmm. now yep. with an asterisk they gotta they gotta pay them mm-hmm. they gotta pay them now alex do you have anything to add on that i feel like the next story is way no. more, way more up your alley yeah <laughs> now e3 2021 is quickly approaching us june um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is getting closer and closer by the day and e3 themselves the esa have come out and announced that even more companies are joining e3 2021 this year and those companies are as followed square enix bandai namco gearbox entertainment uh freedom games devious eye entertainment turtle beach verizon binge exceed games interesting hmm so some indies there, but I think the the biggest deal is, of course, Square Enix and Bandai Namco. Mm-hmm. Um, Gearbox is pretty big too, of course. But I think I think I'm very excited for the Square Enix thing. Uh, yeah, hopefully sure. we see some Final Fantasy 16 news. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to hear about. Yeah, no, that looks good. Uh, aside from that, Alex, um, again, we have a pretty short news story, so I really wanted to have the majority of the episode really about this here, this E3 news now give me give me your thoughts on on what an e3 can be like looking like this year is is this something that you're looking mm. forward to now i've kind of already asked you that last yeah last week but i want i want to ask it in the main show and really have a discussion around this is this is is this something that like first off is this is this something that first off will ever come back to the 2010s days where it was I, something that I was a f- I think E three, E E like E three. Mm-hmm. I don't think will it will ever be the same. Mm-hmm. I think E three is now probably going to be more of a hmm as a. I don't want to say tech show, but it's like because I feel like it's more than that with the games and stuff like that. But I don't feel like it's. I don't feel like it's ever going to be as big as it used to be because how how much the the community has changed everybody's all about the digital stuff you know and uh just streaming and uh you know online only especially with the pandemic going on now Mm -hmm. um so i'm sure they've definitely had to step back like especially the when they didn't do it they're like okay what is it gonna take for people to actually be to care for e3 Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why they're adding more people, like these companies to join. Mm-hmm. Because if these companies wouldn't join, they'd be like, oh, I mean, oh, what do we got? Microsoft mm-hmm. and Ninten- Nintendo has its own thing. Uh, Sony's not even going to be anywhere. Mm-hmm. So like, it's really hard to like bring people back. So I think adding these companies would be like, okay, you know, we, we, we're still, we're st- oh, what's it called? We're still uh, relevant. But I don't think it's ever going to be as good as it used to be. But I am excited to see what they're doing because they took a break. Okay, so I respect. I'm no, I respect. I respect what you're saying. I I see what you're saying with the you know you, they want to they probably reach out to these devs and you're like, hey, can you piece something together and bring it to the show? We'll give mm-hmm. you this spotlight, and you're guaranteed at least this many clicks afterwards or something. Like that. Mm-hmm. You know, there's some sort of guaranteed partnership or something. I I think uh, you're correct that most likely the way we think of E3 back in the 2010s era, um, specifically the 2000s even, is probably dead. And it's probably been dead for a while, um, mm-hmm. but I think it's been blaringly obvious since E3 was gone for uh, a year. Mm-hmm. I think since it's not a trade show, and again, it's still kind of weird because it's just a digital event now, so it's, it's, just, it's just a... It's just something called E3 that's now happening. There isn't a thing you go to. It's just a, it's just a, uh, uh, it's just like almost like a brand that now now is now this this is E3 this weekend, and now we're gonna Mm. have Xbox at two p.m. Eastern till four p.m. Eastern talking about their thing. So it does get robotic because it might not have that feel of E3 too, and that might even Mm -hmm. make it even worse. Well, they have even. Second thing, really quick, Alex, mm-hmm. is this is the most boring thing to say ever, but like COVID messed up the gaming industry a, a lot. 
and I mean oh, a lot. Yeah, for We're, sure. This year is going to be, and mark my words on this one, this year is going to suck. <laughs> I think it's I think it's painfully obvious this year is going to suck. Not yeah. only is this year going to suck for video games, we might get maybe one or two launches this year. Rumors are speculating Starfield's going to get shown off this year. Mm-hmm. They they apparently want it to launch this year. That's not happening. So that's probably going to launch next year. <clears throat> not mm-hmm. only is this year going to suck, next year is going to be jammed packed with every game ever because everything got pushed to next year. So next year is going to be nuts. We're going to have probably an insane springtime and an insane fall. And we might even have an insane summertime because there's a lot of publishers that can't afford to hold some of these games that are that got pushed. So I feel like this E3 is probably going to be boring, but I do think there will be one to two surprises. I, I brought it up to you today, Alex, that I saw mm-hmm. Jason Schreier, very notable journalist working over at Bloomberg. We talk about his reports all the time. He brought up, uh, he was talking to somebody and they asked the question um, and I couldn't find the tweet. I was actually going to add it to the docket uh, because I knew I was going to reference it today. Uh, Apologies. Mm-hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't find it in his tweets. He, he I he tweets a lot, so I, I could not find it. Um, <laughs> but I was trying to find it to reference it. But essentially, what he, what the question was is, will E three this year be a surprise? Is and I'm paraphrasing here, but that was essentially the question. Jason Schreier said, "No, sorry, that's it." He just said, "No, sorry." Now you can take that a number of ways. You can not believe him, you know, for whatever reason. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't trust him <clears> or something. <throat> or maybe he's trying to not get people too excited. Or you know, he's using his power wisely. He does have mm-hmm. a power. If he says something, people are going to probably believe it. So maybe he said it to just hedge his bets and be safe. Jason Star is pretty open. If he answers a question, I don't think he would uh, lie about that. But I think I think we are probably not going to be surprised by anything this year, which is sad to say. I think I think we'll have a substantial announcement from probably Xbox. It will probably mm-hmm. be a game that's scheduled to release this year. Um, we were going to get we're going to see Halo. It has to release this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and it also can't suck. Hey, Halo cannot suck i i don't know how i like that has to that is yeah, probably the later year i mean this might be one of the this might be actually the most important xbox game that has ever happened other than the first time halo released on the original <laughs> xbox yeah so we're getting into that weird zone of are we excited is there going to be something crazy I this year f- i think the majority of people that aren't the achievers right now listening that aren't going on IGN, Kotaku, not, that aren't listening to Kind of Funny, aren't listening to Sacred Symbols, Mid Max Games, all the, you know, everyone that's in the ecosystem. I don't think we are going to be crazy excited because we're probably going to see what's going to happen. We're probably, mm. we probably, if we had to really think about a couple games, and I know a few of them, if we really had to think about it, we could probably figure out what's going to be announced and shown. And we could probably figure out what's either coming out this year or what's going to come out next year. So yeah. I don't think we are going to be excited. I think the average person that logs in on, on Yahoo and that's how they get their gaming news is when someone gets the splash screen on Yahoo the next day. I think they're going to be surprised by a few things, but everyone everyone else, I don't think will be. Yeah, it's interesting the amount of different companies that they got because it's very very it's variety it's variety like, you like can tell X-Men they had to... is and like mostly really anime like story of seasons you know things like that like freedom games indies uh turtle beaches you know type i'm mean, what like I, I, they're gonna show off like type of headsets i assume i have no idea that's a great question um, horizon uh, very quickly uh if if um and this isn't direct to, towards you X of course but if 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 you're reading this list and you're like oh is that their first time coming remember you're probably only watching E3 for the big names there's a mm-hmm. bunch of indies there that don't really get the limelight because yeah. there's Forza because oh, there's mm-hmm. Gears because there's God of War because well, there's, there's the, the big people in the way it's because there's you know there's PlayStation play, when PlayStation was there. That you know, they were there taking up that air. There's yeah. only so much you can talk about. I when I can when I think of one game that took up they take air, that space. Um, the, the, when I think of something that that stole the air for a show, I think of No Man's Sky the first time it was launched, or sorry, that was <laughs> revealed. 
let, let's not talk about how, how disastrous all of that was and how wrong everyone was. I don't want to talk about that. I, I just want to talk about mm-hmm. that was the game everyone talked about. No mm-hmm. one cared about. I think Witcher was there that same year, something like that, like some crazy stuff. So like no one talked about those games. No one. Talk, it was No Man's Sky was the one that clicked with everyone that got mm-hmm. everyone clicking and searching. That was probably the most searched game or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. So like just as an example, that is the game that launched it. So E3 isn't just for those big guys. I mean, it's small people there too. Yeah. That, that's, that's their first time showing off, of, you know, their game. They're excited. You know, there's some baby developers there too, that this is their first shot and this is what they want to uh, uh, hit big with. Yeah. It's interesting. I mean, I am excited because I want to see what they'll do with this. <sighs> I want to see why Konami's there. I mean, why not? I'm a, I'm such a, like um tsa probably came up to them and be like hey you guys want to be 83 they're, lo- they're looking they're like we well, got yeah, nothing else to do cool whatever i i want to see what they're doing <laughs> because like um, alex oh, mm-hmm. if they if like they have sweet in do you understand <laughs> alex do you understand someone listening to this knows what sweet in is hit me up on twitter all right, so we can just gush about Sweden. I miss it. And if they, if Alex, if they even mm-hmm. say they're re-releasing one of them, you better be ready for the next show. I'm gonna hear. You better be ready for the next from show. my house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it all here. Ah, I'm like, <laughs> what the heck was that? Uh, as just as a reminder, E3 takes place digitally on June 12th through the 15th. Very quick. It is free. I know people were confused still about that. It's it is free. This is a thing you watch online, mm-hmm. uh, so you know you don't have to pay for a pass or something. Some more weird suing news uh, since we're getting all legal, Alex. Sony mm-hmm. is facing a lawsuit that claims it is operating an unlawful monopoly by restricting purchases of PlayStation games to the PlayStation Store. This is from a Bloomberg report, uh, uh, and I took some of these. Uh, direct quotes off uh, the class action lawsuit filed by consumers. I'm going to put consumers in air quotes there because I highly doubt they're actual consumers. Uh, notes that by restrict uh, restricting digital purchase to the official PlayStation store, Sony interactive entertainment are able to charge up to 175% higher than physical games sold by retailers, both online and in store. <clears throat> Those who want to remain digital, however, are restricted to what Sony charges on the PlayStation store. This is a direct quote from the filing. Quote, Sony's monopoly allows us to charge super supra competitive prices for digital PlayStation games, which are significantly higher than their physical counterparts sold in a competitive retail market and significantly higher than they would be in a competitive retail market for digital games. End quote. Alex. <laughs> Again, this is another thing for avid uh, achievers. We covered this last year. That they were taking mm-hmm. out all digital... Last year, it might be two years ago now. Don't remember. But they took Ooh. out all digital games from retailers. So, yep, you can from the only, so you can only purchase gift cards. You cannot buy a digital gift card. Or sorry, Jesus, I said the opposite. You cannot buy a digital game code. You can't go to a GameStop, to a Walmart, to a Target, and say, I want Witcher 3 digitally. Or what, you know, insert whatever game you want. You can't do that. You have to go to the PlayStation Store. And pay whatever it says if you want it that day. Now, I am not a legal expert. We're not even going to get into the legal things here. <laughs> I have no idea if this is some sort of mo- uh, monopolistic practice. It sounds like it on paper, but that's not how our laws work. Uh, we live in the U.S. Uh, I believe they're being tried in the U.S., I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, anything could happen with this. I mm-hmm. don't really care. I just wanted to bring it up to the achievers there. It's a weird thing. I love that they're getting mm-hmm. sued by just such a random thing. Like, hey, we think, thing, yeah. we, th- we think we think you're a monopoly and you're trying to monopolize your, your games for uh, versus competitive, which, by the way, isn't an true statement. I mean, if I go and, and try to play, uh, what's what's a game? If I go and try and buy Infamous Second Son right now, mm-hmm. is that like 30 bucks? But I can go to like a Walmart or something and it's probably $10, you know, just as an example. Mm -hmm. If you understand like the digital market, things don't go down with pricing. 
generally they only go down with pricing with a sale. Now with it has sale. it has gotten mm-hmm. better, Alex. If if you back <laughs> me up on here, I don't know if you've noticed. I've noticed games on the digital marketplace have slowly gotten cheaper permanently versus being a full price game. Yeah. I'm I'm reminded of uh I think it was a few weeks ago I just saw and and a game was thirty dollars. That never happened in the 360 era. Period. Oh, there was there was only like sixty they bucks. Were all and I will I am serious they were always sixty dollars. Mm-hmm. Unless a sale. Always. Now it's sometimes, but back then, always. All through mm-hmm. all the whole 360 era, as soon as you could buy digital games, you, there was no way to get it cheaper. It had to be mm-hmm. 60 bucks unless there was a springtime sale. And sales were way more rare back then, too. It was like spring, summer, and then the winter sale and the New Year's sale. And I feel like that was all. Like that mm-hmm. was the four sales you got. It was like all by season. And it was like way more rare. Now it's like now, sometimes yeah, we get so many different things. And I feel like I feel like sales literally never end. I feel like every time I open my my Xbox, it's like it's the president sale and like it's it's the wildest so. game in the neighborhood. Like it's it's always <laughs> yeah. a sale when I open this goddamn machine. Yeah, no, there's always a sale. I think just last week there was either like a uh what was it? Not a Call of Duty sale. It was like a, either Ubisoft or something. There was some type of sale for like Ubisoft. random. It was Ubisoft. Was it Ubisoft? Okay, yeah, there's some for what? Like what? Yeah, <laughs> What's it yeah. promoting. Yeah, it's just it's just random stuff. It's fun. It's cool. I love yeah. it. I mean, good for them. I, I like when things go on sale because you know, you know, we gotta it save money. We gotta save money, and I have friends that they can only get the game when it's on sale. Mm-hmm. And I have smart people that just wait for games to get cheaper. <laughs> we, me and Alex, we have this thing called FOMO. We can't let that happen. Mm-mm. In a very weird announcement today, and just kind of out of the blue with nothing else to back it up, Ubisoft announced Division Heartland. It is going to be a free-to-play game set in the Division universe. That's all we were told. <laughs> I don't know. They they didn't say anything about this thing. I just logged on, saw there's a new Division game, clicked on it. Division Heartland. It is a Tom Clancy set in the Division universe. It is a free-to-play game. That's it. Okay. They said it might release next year. (laughs) I was like, okay. (laughs) I don't know. Alex, why would you announce it like that? Why? Why didn't didn't just... Why why, did you do that? I don't know. Like, is Yubi going to be at E3? I don't know why they just didn't wait for that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if Yubi's going to be at E3, I don't know why they just could be like, oh, they're, we're showing off our new game. And also, we have something a surprise for you. This There's going to be this. And they could have been like, it's releasing this winter. Like, you know, they would have been more of a better... It, it, was a, a, from, it would be a better approach if they would have kept it as a like an announcement. So they have, like, you know, people like, getting excited for it. Ubisoft will be having a Ubisoft Forward Saturday, June twelfth, starting at twelve PM Pacific time. Mm. Maybe they'll show more about it then. Maybe. But but I, why would you announce it like that? It's so strange to me. Just I, random. I, this is random. Like literally. Like you just said. I, you just said Division Heartland is a game coming out next year. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Like literally. I like. I had no idea what this was until you. I until you put this on the dock. And that, that's what they did. That, that was a visual mm-hmm. gag for the YouTube videos, viewers. But again, I, I, I know we're, we probably sound like a bunch of babies, like just complaining about <laughs> something that has no effect on it. It's just weird. I mean, isn't that the internet? Thank you, Alex. You, you understand me so well. But that's just, it's just weird, though, right? God, mm-hmm. Alex, you're so wise. That is the internet. Jesus. Oh, God. Now I, now I don't. Eh, let's just end the show. <laughs> this is a perfect way to end the show. <laughs> But but for real, that that's so weird. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they were was worried about a leak. Maybe that was why. Do people care enough? To be honest, yeah. I don't know. People leak weird lie. stuff, man. Not gonna lie. From what you read, it's yeah. an open world free to play division game. Are you gonna play it? <laughs> no, no, okay. Not, I'm okay, not. okay, okay. I'm not. You got me, Alex. I'm not gonna play that. And it's and it's funny because. You love too. So what happened? <laughs> they never did anything with the game, man. It, now, it's now, same thing with Division if, One, dude. Now, if this looks awesome, 
then maybe. But like as a far that I've heard, I'm like open world free to play division game. Eh, whatever. I'll probably download it just because I like downloading free to play games and to try it one day and then never come back to it. But other than that, no. Nah. The issue with Ubisoft, I feel like, is they're not very good at. Um, oh Didn't you do hyperspa- to- hyperscape? What happened to that? I think it's still going. I don't. I don't know. That was, I was so hyped was for that, much. and then it I was played. And then I played it, and went like, "Ooh, yeah, no, no, no thank it, you. it's it was too much going on." Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Ubisoft is very strange with Division because the it, same mm. thing happened with Division One. I feel like they released the game. <laughs> And that was it. Mm-hmm. And then they came back with an expansion. And then that was it. And then they came out with another expansion. And that was it. And maybe, hey, someone in the Division community, maybe I'm on Reddit right now. And they're like, look at this idiot <laughs> talking about Division. You don't know nothing. I don't know why they had that accent. But but for real, like, mm-hmm. is that if I feel like that's Division's issue. Like, uh, same thing with two. The exact same thing happened with two. The game came out. Nothing changed. And then we had like a kind of different thing with Black Tusk. And then that ended. And, and is it the- weird that I feel like they're trying to make Division just relevant all the time? But nobody, I like it. Hey, comment if I'm wrong. But nobody cares for Division anymore. It's true. And it's true. And again, we're not bullying this game. We're just calling it how it is. We, we, yeah, we're just giving I mean, our I, opinions I, on I the mean, game. I liked it when we played it, but mm-hmm. like now I'm like, it's not relevant in, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't think so either. And I don't know if the player, I don't know what the player count looks like. Hey, maybe they're, maybe they're booming right maybe, now. But, maybe they're still going. Yeah. But I don't think so. I think, I feel like not the as game strong as Destiny. <laughs> well, they're not as, they're not nearly as competitive as insert high Mm -hmm. playing game i mean destiny apex all these Mm -hmm. other games like i don't know what it is i can't tell you what what they're missing by god i have no idea but they're missing something maybe it is but i mean bro there you know how much stuff there is to do in that game i but when was the last time there was a new like it it dlc and content, I feel like it's two different things. That's a good point. You're correct. DLC it could be like you know the Black Tusk thing. I feel like I don't know, like like it was just like that one little event. I you do these couple missions, and that was it. Mm-hmm. That's not content to me. Mm-hmm. Content to me is like uh, yes, every game is doing it, but like the season thing. You know, mm-hmm. there is a pass. Every game has a season pass now. And now I like it. Yeah, I used to at the beginning. I was like, every game has it now. Whatever. Now I I enjoy it because it makes me want to come back to games like. I stopped playing Division for like a season, and I was like, I'm not into this. And I looked at the new season, man, I'm coming back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like it's just uh, that you have to do that with the game sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's Division's missing that one thing that makes it addictive to play the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that makes De- Destiny so popular, right? Something the gameplay is so good that you will play the exact same mission. A million times. You know how many times I've played the same strike? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, literally, I jumped on after being a season, and I was like, I played this three times <laughs> in the last like week, but I'm still gonna keep doing it. Mm-hmm. There's just something about it, and I feel like that a division missed that. And this is a guy who pr- I think I put like seventy oh, hours into the, the game. Or something. Out of I like, so, I, so I'm not sitting here like a guy who played the story and left. I. I played a good I, bit of the game that, that yeah, Alex, did that, but, but I did not. So I'm coming from a guy who played the game. I love that. Uh, I played destiny. I play apex. I play, uh, I play Fortnite sometimes. I mean, I play a bunch of and divisions missing that thing. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can even say, I don't think, I don't think it's not like a mathematical equation. Warzone like has you're it. Missing it. You're missing the grab. Yeah. Warzone has it. Oh, yeah. like call of duty has that thing that keeps you you there. think it's it's not just not enough events like yeah like i, I think, think it's is i think events? i think the core gameplay is not satisfying enough yeah I, I in destiny when i have a good build and i am comboing my grenade with my melees and when i do this one move this buffs my damage to where i can now dps the boss and then when that's done i'm gonna heal a teammate with my grenade and then i'm gonna reload everything and and uh apex like uh i can go and do my challenges for that week oh i'll, <clears> I'll play with the r99 this week and the wingman this week because i have pistol damage division when i'm shooting something 
it's not satisfying. When I shoot a fallen in yeah. Destiny, I get that explosion out of their head and I see the little white coming out. When I kill a hive and their head turns into ember and ash and they slowly go away to nothing. Mm-hmm. Like when I shoot a vex and they just blow up and crumble, like that feels good. When I'm sitting there with a little SMG in cover because I'm scared for my life. Because in Division, if you get shot once, you're dead. So, like, I'm, like, peeking a corner. And I'm, like, ding, 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 ding. And, like, a little piece of armor falls off this guy. And I'm, like, all right. So, I took off his chest. Ding, 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 ding. All right. I took his leg off. Oh, he's coming closer. Let me switch cover. Like, you know, that's not invigorating. Like, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's just not. I, after a while, I was just like, this isn't fun anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It loses its 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 value. Its value. Yeah. It, it feels fun at the beginning because it is. You're throwing around an SMG that does a stupid amount of damage. But then mm. when you have to get to that higher end content, there's something that there's something that's missing. And it's and I can't say what it is, but it's something in that what I just described. It's it's in that bulb mm. somewhere. You can figure it out if, you know, some smarter people than me will figure what what it is. Alex, I think that's the news for the week. Uh, we have <coughs> Oh god, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, no, I just really I, I just like, like, say something you're just like, <laughs> I was I guess but not that we went on 10 minutes on division. Yeah, we did. My throat hurts. That's the news. So we're going to get into a little segment we call it date updates, Alex. Hmm. I just had a sip of water, so I am reinvigorated for this. Oh date god. Update. Brought to you by Interplay and Wizards of the Coast. They have announced the PS2, the beloved PS2 game. Action RPG classic Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is being re-released for PS4 and Xbox One and Nintendo Switch May 7th. That's right. As you're listening to this very podcast, you can go over to your system and download it for the low price of $30. Now, I did say re-release, so there is nothing new about this game. I will say that again. Nothing new. So if you played the original, you, you're cool. You're a cool guy. No. You're a cool no. guy. If you didn't, it is an old PS2 game that has amazing gameplay and amazing story. But it looks a little rough. Alex? Now, this is a PS2 Xbox original game. Correct. Is it you said this is being re-released? Yes. For PS4, Xbox One, is this a port or is this kind of like uh, so? So like you it's know how port. you can play X. So is this an Xbox One game or yes. an Xbox original game playing on the one? This is an Xbox One game, but so there's achievements for it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's all. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you you know what we achievers do here? All right. We're gonna go achieve right. this game, all right? Don't worry. All I'm right. getting a thousand. I've always, I'm I've buying this wanted- game, by the way. I've always wanted to try Boulder's Gate. Oh, I, I, brother. Dude, dude, I've seen... Because I have Boulder's Gate 1 and 2 on PC, but I never played it. Um, And I saw 3 when they showed it off. What was it? Last year or the year before? Really, maybe 2019? Really quick. Not to cut you off. Mm. Boulder's Gate 1 and 2. Mm-hmm. Different games than Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance. It gets very confusing. Interesting. Boulder's Gate 1 and 2 are almost mm-hmm. like playing D&D. Got Boulder's it. Gate Dark Alliance is what you think of an RPG today. Oh, so if you then I'll be it, playing Dark Alliance. So, so if someone right now goes, I want to play Boulder's Gate, they go over, play Bolt and search Boulder's Gate on Steam. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Boulder's okay. Gate Dark Alliance is a is a is a different game. It is awesome. Uh it is it is my I would say that one of my first, if not the first RPG games I played. I played with my father. It is a two player <clears throat> co-op couch co-op game. We played it probably four times five times and beating it all the way through like we just mm-hmm. kept playing the game getting oh god i could probably play the i can probably play this game in my sleep like i memorized it is bold because the, the the what they showed for boulders gate 3 looked awesome yes the the, the is this going to be is that one going to be more rpg or is it going to be so that, the D&D? so so, so Baldur's gate 3 it's kind of uh-huh. kind of like if 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 what i'm talking about uh-huh. And and what Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? So mm-hmm. so if it's like a Mixed. Dark Alliance and Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 like had a thing for a while, they went to like mm-hmm. a club, you know, they kind of danced, 
a little mm. bit and they did this thing and then because they're like hey some gameplay. you want to come to my place after this and they did and mm-hmm. then they got to their place mm. <laughs> and alex oh, no protection they, they, no, mm, no protection so, so they made a hot baby mm-hmm. a hot baby <laughs> maybe not put it that way <laughs> but yeah <laughs> yeah they did but for real though it's it's kind of an amalgamation. When I saw gameplay for it, and Achievers, look this up on your end uh, to see if you're interested in this. The Baldur's Gate 3 gameplay did not look like something I wanted to play, but did still look fun. It, it looks a lot like an MMORPG. In a way. Uh, yeah, I can Baldur's see what you're saying. It's yeah. been, it's... It is very D and D because, like, you literally like roll mm-hmm. for initiative. There's a random number generator in the game that will make you roll to see how fast you are. Like, there's, I mean, it's a D and D game, so it's it's a D and D game, but it has like the R- RPG uh, elements with like you know changing your gear out and stuff. Um, I'm interested in it. Achievers, look it up. Um, I do recommend Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. So as long as you're going in understanding that this is an old game, the visuals are not good, but the gameplay, I promise, holds up. It is a very good game. I am buying this <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, snap. Alex. Yes. That is the show. We've been going on a little longer than I thought we'd be. I'm kind of happy for that. So Achievers mm-hmm. got a full episode this week. Now, Alex, we'd like to end the show... Kind of like when we started with, we like to relax, talk a fuck up things, and lull, and lull ourselves into the weekend. So, Alex, the way mm-hmm. I started is how I want to end with one question. What do you have queued up for the weekend? This could be, of course, a TV show, a video game, <clears throat> some sort of comic book, maybe even a book, maybe, maybe some sort of activity. What do you got mm-hmm. queued up in that little backlog of yours in your head? What you going over the weekend? I got- I got a couple things. I got a couple things. So I'm going to I'm going to continue playing some Destiny with you. Yes, some you Apex, are. of course. Okay. Um cuz I definitely want to try to get to Diamond for the very first time. Okay. Um um now I'll definitely be playing Resident Evil. Of course. Um and I started watching My Hero. So oh. I've been, I'm gonna, I'm going to watch that. Oh. So I, 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 I'm a little busy boy this weekend. My Hero. Such a good anime. If you're listening to this, you need a new anime to watch. My Hero, Attack mm-hmm. on Titan, the Achiever's seal of approval on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's literally, I told you, Elijah, hey, watch Attack on Titan. And he was like, hey, watch My Hero. He finished Attack on Titan, blew his mind. Blew it. <laughs> blew it to pieces. I'm, it, I'm, I'm upset, though, because they finished the first half of season four. So and season this the part two doesn't come out I think till next year and I'm like yeah oh. next year so now at least you get to watch season four dubbed I think that's when it'll come out next uh, sometime end of this year or next year okay yeah but I'm waiting mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I'm ready to listen to it yeah my hero um I need to finish the season I'm on I blew through my hero I mean I went through I'm on season four mm. I started watching them. A couple weeks ago, a couple weeks around the time I moved in, it was about a, it was about a, it's about a month ago. Yeah, so around roughly that time, so in about a month, I li- I watched all the episodes, and my god, such mm-hmm, a good mm-hmm. show! Can't I can't recommend it enough. Nothing I will say is probably what you guys haven't already heard of about the show, but it is mm-hmm. a fantastic. I'm currently watching on Hulu. That's the easiest way I'm watching to. I know Funimation and Crunchyroll are much better sites for this kind of thing. And I already had Hulu, so. I'm not going to pay for another service. Mm-hmm. I don't really have anything new to say. I'm basically doing exactly what you said, Alex. I'm going to be playing. Oh, I'm also playing one more thing. I went back and uh, I went to the nostalgia of my list. I, I, I've been playing Half-Life 2. Oh. Because I've never played Half-Life 2 and I heard it's an amazing game. Mm-hmm. So far, I'm liking it. Okay, okay, okay. Keep yeah, us updated. For the Half-Life 2 fans, it definitely feels a lot like Portal. Because, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, it's by the people who did Portal. Yeah. Keep but us updated. It's def- yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun so far. That's cool. Hey, but but uh, look, I was saying, I, I don't think I'm playing anything quite different than Alex. I mean, I'm going to go back to Destiny, try and finish that, get ready for the next season. That Season mm-hmm. season of the 
uh, Splicer is next week, next Tuesday. Splicer. So we're going to have a new season for Destiny. Mm-hmm. Uh, Apex, I probably won't be playing as much as Alex will be. I might be. I don't know. Uh, I need to go back to Returnal. Yeah. I'm going to try and beat that over the weekend. I'm going to try and have a spoiler cast up for you guys soon. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, I will be involved, but I do not know if I'll be if I'll finish it. But it will most I'll likely try. be me talking to Alex about the game. Yeah, pretty uh, much. But that's fine. Uh, Resident Evil, mm-hmm. and I purchased It Takes Two. My wife wanted to play the game. She actually asked if uh, if I would get it and we could play it. So I told her, yeah. Yeah, so I showed my wife that I showed my wife the game, and she was like, "That still looks pretty cute." And I was like, "Are you be interested in playing?" She was like, "I don't know, maybe." Mm-hmm. Right now, she's it. really big on Among Us. She got mm-hmm. into the pool of Among Us because really, uh, my wife's a teacher. Yeah, so um. Lately, they're doing the you know those state testings. They can't really do anything after the state testings are done. Yeah. Um. And they all play Among Us in her room, mm-hmm. and they they yeah. asked her they're like, "Hey, go play uh, play with them. Uh, play Among Us with us." And she was like, "All right, whatever." So she started playing, and she is enjoying it. I can't. I I took a shower earlier. I came out. I just see her on the couch. I was like, "Hey, aren't you going to bed?" And she was like, "Eh." And she was playing, just playing. And she was like, "Man, I hate that I'm not the imposter." All the any. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. Oh, oh yeah, now, I don't know this the game. The imposter is the fun one because you just get to lie through your teeth. Mm-hmm. Lie through your teeth. It's so good. It's so yeah. good. We got to figure out how to play that one day. We we I, I, when it comes to Xbox, this one's gonna be easy. I have it on PC from Game Pass. I do too. I think I do. Yeah, yeah I, I um, definitely do too. Maybe we should. Yeah, play it's it from sometime. Game Pass on PC. Yeah, we should play it sometime then. Yeah. All right, Alex. Let's get out of here. We love yeah, you. Man. Let's go play some stuff. We love you. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a buddy. Patreon.com slash EG51 to support the show. Keep the mics on, light, lights on. Alex's dog's fed. They're pretty hungry. Last time I was over there, one of them was biting their arm, kind of like a wolf when it thinks it's <laughs> trapped. And it's doing this. I, I, I was doing one of those. So you probably want to hurry up on those Patreon things. Mm-hmm. Remember! Mm-hmm. I was about to say, you better do a full circle because I can't. I got this cable. I was going to go for a circle and then I realized the cable probably would kill my entire PC and then it would just go black and we'd lose the recording. I was about to say, so you I just got that new headset. So I stopped halfway through and was like, ah, the visual gag's good enough and I rolled back over. Yeah, yeah. Go, Chief. Go, Chief. <laughs>